What's going on everybody, it's Rev, and welcome back to another Dauntless video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my favorite build that I've been doing with Thrax Mastery. Uh, this will be a build involving all of the armor set, or all of Thrax's armor set, so we can get that mastery piece done. And also, as a bonus, there's a flawless Thrax in there, which will be pretty cool. I actually really like this build for me personally, because... It gave me the right amount of difficulty taking on Umbral Escalation solo. Uh, it, it gave us a little bit of cunning. It got rid of Iceborne entirely. However, it didn't make it tedious because we have 9 lives plus 6, which is like the original Iceborne. When I first started Dauntless, 9 lives was the cell that we took before Iceborne. It was, you know, you're having trouble with the fight? We Okay, put on a little bit of nine lives. And it was also the very first cell, like time that we ever felt we needed it. All the time was when Valamir came out and those orbs just did way, way, way too much damage. Luckily, we don't have to deal with Valamir in Umbral Escalation, but Thrax's armor does offer that nine lives, which is really nice. It gives us a little bit of cunning. And the reason why I like cunning is because it's a passive damage perk that doesn't offer a lot of damage, but it also doesn't offer nothing. And so, as a lot of people have kind of voiced to me already, the damage in Umbral Escalation and the power creep that's going on when fighting Thrax, Thrax is a pretty fast kill in comparison to the previous Escalations. And so, this is why I like Cunning. It gives, or this build in general, is that it gives me a little bit of damage and a little bit of survivability and it makes the mastery feel challenging and it feels good to just play. And so that's what I'm sharing with you today and we'll just go ahead and get right in to the build. So the cool thing about this build is that you can use it with any other weapons so long as it's a Torgador weapon or a legendary weapon with prismatic sockets. But I would recommend the Torgador weapons just for now, unless you like the Thrax weapons taking it into an Umbral Escalation. But choice is yours. A legendary weapon of your choice. Hammer, chain blades, whatever you choose. I'm a sword player, so I'm going to be taking the Cauterizer. And with the Cauterizer, I have Berserker 3, 9 lives. We have Avenging Overdrive with Whistling Blade, bonded to Inferno's Razor for a plus 3 for power. We have Thrax's Scream, which offers us Catalyst 3 and a Catalyst 3 cell in the helmet, giving us Catalyst 6. Pots are really, really busted right now, so we'll be taking full advantage of that Catalyst. We have Thrax's Shadow, rocking a 3 Cunning with an additional 3 Berserker. We have plus 3 9 lives on the gloves, as well as Overpower in the cell socket. We have Thrax's Guile with the Cunning plus 3, and we have Evasive Fury 3 just for a little bit of attack speed. And since we don't have an extra utility slot, I opted to go Energized in the Lantern. This gets us into Avenging Overdrive faster and just allows us to do our do our thing. Get into Avenging Overdrive, deal that damage. Now, for the pots, I want to note, and these are empty because I want to note this, we're not using Skull Forge in this build, and so, Sword Without Stamina sucks. It's very not fun to play. <laughs> so, Stamina Tonics with Catalyst give us that primo Skull Forge-like stamina regeneration that is highly coveted for us Sword players. Your Tonics in general are important here because we're using Catalyst A, but also we're light on the... We're light on the damage and we're light on the survivability. And so you're going to be using your tonics. You're going to need to use your tonics, but you need to use them, you know, at appropriate times. You can't just kind of mindlessly uh, go on about your business. You need to plan when you're going to pop your tonics and if you're going to need more. So, uh, you know, amps that will provide you with additional uh, potion value will will also be things to think about. Going over the perk economy really fast, we have plus six Berserker, we have plus six Catalyst, we have plus six Cunning, plus six Nine Lives, plus six Overpower, three Energize, three Evasive Fury for a nice spread of just right damage and survivability. And honestly, I will say this with 
a little bit of confidence because I'm an OG who grew up without Iceborne and became a decent player. Practice with nine lives over Iceborne and I bet it will make you a better player. But that's going to do it for this build video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. It helps the video out a ton. If you would like to support the channel even further, you can use creator code REVIRAD in the Dawnless in-game store or the Epic Games store or subscribe to this channel for more Dawnless content if you find it useful. Furthermore, you can get in on the Twitter giveaways going on for the Hunt Pass. I have a few more to give away. And uh, you can join the Discord if you're so inclined to, you know, uh, interact with me, know when I'm going live on Twitch, um, and all that good stuff. But I hope you're having a great day, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the Shattered Isles.